Hello, people. What is going on? It is flying here. And this is my first tutorial that I'm putting up today. And I know I've got a lot of videos going out today. I've got my Would You Rather. I've got my gaming set up. And I do have this one going up. I am also recording a couple of Modern Warfare 3 live streams and live commentaries, but I don't think I'm going to put those up until tomorrow. But if you guys want them before, just leave me a comment. And as of always, subscribe if you like and help me grow my channel to as greatest of its potential. That would really help me and I would really appreciate it very much. And today, my video is on how to live stream your Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 gameplay onto twitch.tv or Justin TV. And this was a really complicated process at first, but I learned it very quickly. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer, whatever you use, Google Chrome, and um, search for XSplit spelled out as of shows X split showing right there X split be the first result what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to see right here where it says register now and start going live you're gonna need to register your email your your real email they're not gonna do anything bad with it they're very trustworthy and I go down here after you've done that, go down to here where it says download XSplit and click on download XSplit beta 7.1. And once you get into that, you will get a program that looks like this. And anyways, as this opens, I like to say that to live stream, you also need a capture card, obviously. I've got my um, Hop Hog HD PVR, and with that comes another program called Total Media Extreme. And you're gonna need Total Media Extreme to live stream. That's just a a you know given. But if you guys have the HD PVR, that shouldn't be a problem. And once you get this screen where it says Buy a License Now, will come up every time. Just ignore it. Click Maybe later and sorry I had this set for when I was gonna live stream you go to file no actually you go to view scale viewpoint go to yep there we go now what you're gonna wanna do after you get into here you're gonna have to sign in obviously as you see I'm signed in you're gonna wanna go to your first thing you wanna do is see your stuff you're gonna View resolution. The original for Justin.tv. This is the exact same settings you have to have it on. Is 640 by 360. All right, guys. That is the most important. And then frame rate. You're gonna want it at 29.97 for most high action games. At 29.97, and then. Once you've got that done, go here to Tools, General Settings. Oh, sorry about that. Tools, General Settings. You're going to want to enter all that stuff your name, your country, gender, birth date. Go to General. Um, first thing you're going to want is to set your mic up. Obviously, if you've got a gaming headset, you want to use that. Click on Headset Mic, and obviously, make sure you got that plugged in. Put on silence detection and just don't change any of the settings. That helps out a lot. Um, once you get the channel, you're going to have to add a channel and click on Justin.tv or Twitch. Enter your username for Twitch, your password, or stream key. I prefer just doing both just in case. Location, anywhere on East, West, United States, whatever. And then under video encoding where it says present anywhere you can either go faster or very fast either one of those works um, quality you're probably gonna oh sorry about that quality you're probably gonna want it at seven um, bit rate put it up to twelve hundred and then resolution you're gonna want it at 
once again 640 by 360 as you had it previously and then audio encoding all that stuff is fine test your bandwidth make sure it works and then I'm just gonna exit out of that and then go over here to resolution and you don't really need to do anything about that hotkeys don't worry about that and then once you got that done you're gonna wanna open up total media extreme once you get this program click on obviously capture module make sure you've got right now I've got composite video on um, you want the HD stuff but my HD cords is not hooked up right now but it, it will be HD make sure you have it on RCA on whichever side you have it on for Xbox you you need it at two channel stereo 5.1 for PC make sure you put it over to Xbox 360 device settings change this to however you want it the settings I have on here right now are optimal you can pause the video right here to see what they are you don't need to worry about voice decoder go to format settings and then you're gonna want to change the bitrate all the way up to 13 and have the auto aspect ratio on to 16.9 on both of them so you've got that done you're gonna want to open XSplit. You're gonna want to go to View, Skill Viewpoint. Bring it down to about 20. Slide it over to the side here. Then you're gonna to want to obviously add, and then oh sorry about this. Let me remove that. Add Screen Region, and then you're gonna to want to only select the part of the game that you're gonna choose. As you see, in the middle of that red cross there is where you're gonna start go all the way down to the other side let go and then this will pop up as you can see right here you're gonna stretch it all the way out and make sure you once you get here right click right there go to position and turn keep aspect ratio off that'll make it full screen and perfect for your viewers let's bring that all the way back up and as you see right here it's perfect and once you've got that set up you basically just you can announce it to twitch or facebook whatever and then once you're ready to broadcast just click that right there and this will start up you can just close that box right there and you're live broadcasting these settings really don't matter and now they can hear you talking and your broadcast at the exact same time and yeah guys that's how you go live on twitch.tv I hope you guys like this tutorial and found it useful if you guys like please leave a rating and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time peace